Today we are making takoyaki from Dragon Ball Super or Kill a Kill. You, you guys can pick. It's probably the same. I just really wanted to do it. Okay. First things first, we definitely need to make a milk tea. And not just any milk tea, a green tea milk tea. Cheers. Now we're gonna take one cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons worth of baking powder, two whole eggs, make sure you get egg all over your cutting board, one tablespoon worth of soy sauce, and then we're gonna make a cheat dashi. So one cup of hot water, one tablespoon of bonito stock, and then a half cup of ice just to help cool it down a little bit. Give this a little bit of stir. And then we're gonna break down some of the ingredients in our bowl. But since our stock was still a little bit warm, we're gonna let it cool down for a bit. While it's cooling down, we're gonna take about one half cup worth of bonito flakes and crush it up after we give Gen off his treat, of course. Now you could buy this pre-processed or use a blender if you would like, but since I have this mortar and pestle, I'm gonna use this instead just so I don't have everything that smells like bonito. Make sure you get it all in there. You want all that bonito good good. Now that our dashi is cooled down enough, we're gonna go ahead and dump this in there and make sure you get all that good good in there as well. You, you, you want all that flavor. Make sure this is thoroughly combined. You don't really want any lumps of flour or anything like that within your batter. Otherwise, it won't really cook properly in your pan. Use a measuring cup or anything with a pour spout to help you pour the batter into the pan later. This is gonna be super important. Now for all the fixins, of course we need some taco to make takoyaki and for this we're going to cut these up into small about half inch or smaller pieces. You don't want these too big because once you put them into your takoyaki batter on the pan it can overwhelm it. So you just want about a quarter inch to a half an inch slice. Once you actually cut all that up put into a separate bowl because we need to make room for all the other good good we're going to be using for this takoyaki. Now this is totally up to you, but I am also using a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese. Yes, I'm gonna use some cheese for the takoyaki. Granted, the cheese won't also go into the takoyaki version. It's gonna be like a cheese yuck. You'll see when we do it, but we're gonna use cheese too. Now this is a substitute for agedama, which is typically fried tempura bits, and I'm gonna be using hot, spicy kakinotane because I, I had this laying around. So we're gonna take some kakinotane, wrap it up in a bit of plastic, use your hands to try crushing this, fail horribly, use the rolling pin because that's a better idea, or you can throw this into a food processor if you really want to. Pop this into another bowl, just again, to make everything nice. You want this nice crumb in your bowl. Now, I'm also using a little bit of bread pickled ginger. You can use whatever ginger you want, but it does add a nice acidity and a nice bite and a nice little bit of flavor to your takoyaki. The last ingredient is fresh green onions. I absolutely love green onions in my takoyaki, so we're gonna be using a little bit of that. It adds that little bit of freshness. I have actually never made takoyaki myself, but I have eaten a pretty significant, like a, it's a stupid amount. I've eaten a stupid amount of takoyaki. So what I would recommend to you guys is trying to make just one and see how that goes and kind of adjust your fire and flame from there. So there's no real way of getting around this part. You need a takoyaki pan to make takoyaki. So go ahead and get some oil and wipe that down just a bit. And as you pour your batter, when it starts to sizzle, you should be good to go. So fill these up to the rim just to make sure they are full enough. I inserted one takoyaki piece into each of these rounds. Now using your pair of scissor blades, we're gonna go ahead and try to start flipping the takoyaki. And since that didn't work, we're gonna get rid of the scissor blades and just use some skewers. We're gonna go ahead and top this off with our green onion, our ginger, and a good portion of our kakinotane just to make sure all that good good's on there. Separate all of your takoyaki to try to get these free from each other. I quickly realized that the pan ended up being too hot and I really couldn't flip these before all the batter was cooked, which left me with a mess. So now we're doing it all over again. We're gonna oil the crap out of this pan, but we're also gonna be over a low medium heat this time. And we're not gonna fill these up to the rim to save us some room. So again, we're gonna insert taco into about eight of them and then cheese into the rest to have half and half. We're gonna top this off with our kake no tane, our ginger and our green onions. Yes, I did have to make a little bit more batter, but it's okay because these started to work as I was able to turn these about 90 degrees. And as you flip them, you're going to have a little bit of a cavity. So you're gonna fill these up with some more batter to start filling them out. As you start to fill them out after about three minutes, you should be able to rotate them fully. So that way they start forming into these little golf balls. I also saw this in another video where they had poured a bit of oil on top to get some nice crispiness and fried bits goodiness onto the takoyaki. And they actually start to gain a lot of color because of that oil. 
Now that we have our favoritist plate back from the neighbor, we're gonna go ahead and plate up eight of these takoyaki because I think it's gonna look really sexy once they're done. Go ahead and pile up all eight of them, hit this with some okonomiyaki sauce that we did pick up from the store, followed by Japanese mayo, a little bit of that fresh QP mayo, a little bit of green onion for color, some aornori for that delicious seaweed flavor, and a bunch of kake no tane. And there it is, our takoyaki from Dragon Ball La Kill. There it is guys, the takoyaki from Dragon Ball Super and Kill La Kill. Still love Studio Trigger. I probably shouldn't eat with a 3D print. Let's let's be honest here. Come on, Paul. Look at that though. Nice crust on it. We added some more kake no tane to the top of it. I've never had takoyaki with kake no tane. Mmm. Oh yeah. The sauce is flavorful from the okonomiyaki. It's creamy from the Q-Pie. It has a little bit of that bite from the actual spicy kake no tane. Both the cheese and the octopus are phenomenal. I love takoyaki. Once you master the pan, everything becomes really easy to make. The batter goes by super quick. All the fixings are up to you. Make this however you want. What's one of your favorite street food items? This was one of my favorites to have when I was out in Osaka because I could get it almost anywhere and it was always amazing. If you want to support the channel, check out the links below to pick up my very own cookbook. Yes, Annie Bites Volume 1 is out and you can download your very own copy. My name is Chef PK here on Foodie Friday bringing anime and video game food to life. Get subscribed and remember, taco, 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 taco. Keep playing with your food. So many of you guys are like, Paul, you never finish your food. What do you think's happening here? Is that what you wanted?